Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Edge channel. Former world champion and two weight categories Michael Murer believes that the star British heavyweight Anthony Joshua will not defeat the WBA, WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk in a rematch if he tries to box with him again. Usyk is a great boxer. To defeat such a fighter is necessary to fight with him. You have to level his arms, wing and fight him in the corner. Forget about the distance. Michael Muir say. Recall that in September last year Joshua lost to Usyk by unanimous decision, loathing the WBA, WBO and IBF titles. The Britain immediately activated the rematch option, but due to the various circumstances, Usyk's second fight with Joshua has not yet taken place. The match is expected to take place in July. Former World Heavyweight Champion Tony Bellew believes that Dillian White will be a serious test for the WBC heavyweight title holder Tyson Fury. Tyson should not approach the fight with White the same way he approaches the fights with Dante Wilder. This is not a guy whose legs are like toothpicks on whom you can lean, exhaust him and dramatically exhaust him. This guy is a block himself, he can hit. White is brave, he is by a wide margin the best body puncher Fury has met, and this will certainly be seen in the fight. No one can discount Tyson Fury. This guy races like an undertaker at WrestleMania when he gets knocked down. I've never seen anything like it. However, White is a formidable opponent, and this is a good fight. I can't wait for him. I'm not sure who will win. Part of me prefers White. But at the same time you can't underestimate Fury, his boxing skills and how good a boxer he is. So we will find out soon, Tony Bellio said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel, you are my support. Thank you so much. Former World Heavyweight Champion Frank Bruno considers the current WBC title holder in the same weight category Tyson Fury, an unpredictable fighter. According to Bruno, this is his main advantage in the upcoming fight with Dylan White. We never know what Tyson will do in this or that fight. He is an unpredictable fighter by himself, but his team of coaches also have a separate approach to each opponent. Dylan understands that he has to face an uncomfortable, dangerous and very hard-hitting opponent. This all makes the task much more difficult for White. No one can predict how Tyson will act in this fight. He can box orthodox or in a left-handed stance. He can press his opponent or work as the second number. Fury can also increase the pace and try to knock out Dillon or stay away from him, gaining points from a distance because he knows that he is fighting a dangerous opponent. Tyson has this ability to adapt to any situation, Bruno said. Bruno believes that the current WBC title holder Tyson Fury has proven himself as a strong puncher in his last fights against Dante Wilder and can't take advantage of this in the upcoming fight against Dillian White. There has been significant progress in Tyson recently. He turned it from just a tall, lanky and clumsy fighter into a dirty puncher. It was noticeable in his last few fights. He gained a few pounds and we saw what he could do with his opponent. Tyson dominated Wilder. Only in this weight category can you get such an advantage in weight. If you can use it, there, there is no doubt that you need to do it. In a fight with White, Fury has an advantage in height. And now, if you can still use weight, it will be very difficult for Dillian. Bruno said. Mandatory challenger Dylan White said that he does not regret his decision to refuse to participate in the promotion of the fight with the Korean champion Tyson Fury. In fact, I don't regret anything because I am a professional, a top fighter. They think it's the Tyson Fury show, but this is the Dylan White and Tyson Fury show. 
Naturally, he is the heavyweight champion of the world, so I understand what they are doing and saying. But you can't buy an elite car and not fill it with elite gasoline. That's what they are trying to do. They want the right to fight and they don't want to pay anything. They don't want to take care of everything properly. They just say, we got the right to make a fight and you have to do what we say. No, it's not. I don't have to do what you say. I'm doing what I want to do. Unless you play it right, do it properly. Sit down with my team and sort it out. Dylan White said. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.